thank you so much for tuning in. Today's video is a requested video by one of my subbies named Melanin Mermaid, and she suggested I make a tufted window seat made out of crates. So I made a tufted window seat made out of crates. So guys, please show this channel some love by clicking subscribe and giving me a thumbs up. Let's get started. So we're gonna start this off how we start every crate project, which is take our E6000 and line one side completely with E6000. And once we have that fully lined, we're going to press it up against the wall as a leveler and clip it in place. And I did four rows of three. So once they're finally dry, you're going to take the back side of one crate and you're going to add a generous amount of glue to every crevice. So once you have it fully lined, you're going to take that and push it towards the back side of another crate. And this is going to make it double storage. So you're gonna clip everything in place and just to make sure that everything stays in place, you're going to zip tie everything, add glue up top and then add your second layer. And make sure that you add zip ties to that layer as well and then clip everything in place while it dries. So after everything was dry, I took it outside and gave it a coat of Krylon's metallic spray paint. It's not my favorite, but I had it from a previous DIY, so I wanted to use it for this one. So I went inside and I measured out the width of my crates on two Dollar Tree foam boards, and then I cut it down and make sure that you save that scrap piece. And then I just cut down the height as well. So I did two of these boards and then I ended up gluing them together. So these are the buttons that I'm going to be using and I really should have measured this out but I got a little lazy so I just placed them where I wanted to and then I made my marks with a pen. So with these upholstery needles I just punctured where I made my marks and this is going to make it easier later when it's time for me to add my buttons. So now with this project foam, and this probably is the most expensive part of the project, you're just gonna put your foam on top and then cut it down to where you have some extra foam hanging off of the sides. And I probably should have used a little bit more. So that extra piece I glued to the top and then I glued my other piece on top of that, which I'm sorry I didn't show. And then I grabbed a fleece blanket because I couldn't find crushed velvet anywhere. Um, and I just used my staple gun and when you get to the edges you're going to do it like a present. Make sure you're pulling really really tight on your fabric and that you cut down the excess when you're done. So with upholstery thread this is really important. Usually you would use your upholstery needle but my buttons were really small. So you're going to feed your needle through but not all the way through and then you're going to feed your button and then go back towards the same hole. So now you're gonna have two pieces, the part with the needle and the part that you originally put in. So you're gonna feed that into another button and these are Dollar Tree buttons and then you're gonna tie it up really, really tight. And this is going to help keep that tufted look. Usually you would add your buttons before you staple your material so you get that nice pleated look, but this was fleece and not velvet so I knew it would look bulky. So then I added my scrap to the top and with these Velcro strips, I just added Velcro to both ends. And they do have Velcro at Dollar Tree, but I already had these on hand. And then after that, I placed that directly onto my bench since they have adhesive. And that's it guys, you have a tufted storage bench. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and thank you so very much for watching.